Um, good evening, everyone. Welcome to another class of the Comcare training. Today we are going to look at the application building. We have a form we shared on the WhatsApp platform. It's a school assessment form which we want to build into an application. This is like um, this is going to be like our first um, application we are going to build from the scratch to the end. Um, I want to apologize for the um, interruption yesterday, the network interruption and also today. We couldn't have a smooth class yesterday because of the uh, continuous um, break in the network and also today we had the same problem. So we have agreed to be making videos and uploading on my YouTube channel and also the WhatsApp platform. So if you watch the video, you can drop your question. So your questions will determine um, when we are going to have a class and address those questions. Or usually we should have, be having a class on Saturday or Sunday. I realize also because of the flipping from one page to another, it's a kind of making my system very slow. So maybe if we just have um, a, a, the class, uh, if, we just, if we have the recordings and upload to the YouTube channel, and also um, when you have viewed it, forward your questions, then we address it. It's going to be a kind of um, easier. You know, in that case, we would not have to be flipping from the from one part to another. We'll just address one thing at a time. So, okay, now let's look at this question, this um, form. It is a form on school assessment, as I said, and it is segmented. It has uh, some sections. This is it from the beginning to the end. Good. So, let's go ahead to start creating this form. As, as usual, usual, my name is Jafar, Jafar Lawal, your presenter or trainer. So the first aspect which we have dealt with in the previous video is by creating your project. We have created like um, one or two projects. So we want, to we want to have this form developed under this uh, project to repeat, uh, the, the repeat class we had. So the first thing I, we are going to do here is to have the application. Um, I want to build it, build the form under this first class. This is the application first class. So I don't want a first app, sorry. I don't, I want to change the name from, from first app to, to uh, I want to call it school assessment. Assessment form. That is what I want to call the application. Right. So I'll save this. So I'll create um, a module. So in this case, we have looked at survey, which includes just data collection. Uh, once you, in a case wherever you want to just carry out a survey once, you don't have to go over it for follow up again. So that is when you are going to have your form built as survey. But in a case whereby your your survey is going to is going to be a continuous process, you will follow it up. It's not just a one survey stuff. You still have to do a follow up. So you create it under you create your form under case list. You can see it says case list track items over time. So this item, this form here is going to be tracked. Is going to be followed up over time. So, since we have done a kind of, um, we have built like one or two forms under survey, so let's look at case list now. So let's have this um, uh, form now built under, application built under case list. Good. So I'm adding a form. Um, I don't want to call it case list, I want to call it um, I want to call it um, school assessment 
form one, right? School assessment form one. So this, I'll call this, I'll, rena I'll rename the form itself. So I'll call it, uh, I'll call it form one. Form one. Let's see. Okay. So now, uh, I'll call this follow-up form, I want to name it to as, um, form 2 I'll call it form 2 the follow up form and if you noticed um, previously while we were creating our forms under just so be we have sorry this 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 will be called form 2 sorry not one form 2 or follow up anyhow you want to call it so, so as I said earlier, while we are having our forms under just survey, if you if you realize very well, you will see what we have here is just one form. We don't have the second form, which is the follow-up form. All we had is the just this form, one form. But in in this case of case list, we have two forms, right? So now. Um, we are going to start adding our question uh, and if you look at our if you look at our form the form we want to build it has this um, introductory part so I want to add this introductory part to our form so I'll call it it's a label question type so I'll have it under label So I want to increase the font. So if you are to increase a font, if you want to increase your font in Comcare, you use asterisk. Double asterisk at, from the beginning and also at the end, it's just to make it bold. If you want to change it to bold. So if if it's if you want it to be in italic, bold and italic, you have three asterisk at, from, uh, from the beginning and at the end, you also add another three asterisk. You can see this school assessment form is now in bold and also um, italic. So but I want to just have it bold. And if you want to have it in italic only, not not bold and italic, but it, it should be in italic form. So you just have one asterisk at the beginning and at the end you add one asterisk. So if you observe here, you can see this is now in what it is in italic form. So, but what I want is what is bold. So I'll make it bold. I'll come and have a class for the transformation of the formatting. We'll just have a class on formatting. I will show you how to manipulate the various um, formatting type we have in Comcare. So, so this also I want it in bold, but um, it's not as bold as I want it, right? It's not it's not as bold as I want it. So I want I want to still increase this. So in that, if you want to still increase the font size, uh, maybe. In this form, I don't want it in this form. It's not really as bold as I want it. So I will make it bolder again. So all you do is to add a hashtag to it. The number of hashtag you are adding to it determines if if I add just one hashtag at the beginning, just at the beginning, you see it is very bold, but I don't want it as big as this. I will add another hashtag. You see it is reducing. And I'll add another hashtag again. Good. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with the size now. The same thing applies to this. I'll add three hashtag. Right? So you see it is now old. I'm okay with the size now. 
so this also I want this to be like the a kind of um, um, topic or let it be very bold so this will be bold also but not as bold this will be bold and italic I want it to be bold and italic right hmm. so um, let it be a bit be a bit bigger let the font size be a little bit um, big um, Can you see? Um, I'll make some adjustments. It's not aligned. I want to align it now. Okay. It's now bold and italic. So you, if you can notice the difference from this is how it is going to look like in the question in the uh, in your phone. On your phone this is going to be bold and also this bold and italic so this is just um, some few formatting we have on Comcare so okay let's go ahead with the question so the first group I want to have a group for this um, this is called this is school information school information general description I'll say okay this is going to this is going to be in uh, text, right? Mm. Well, let me have it in group. I want it in. I want it to be grouped, and I want. I want all the questions to be in one on one page. So, instead, I will say, okay. After the first question, the next question should be in what in question list. So I'll call the group to I'll call the group school information. I'll make it bold. Aha. So now I'll have my questions under it. What do we have next? School name. What is the question type for school name? It's text, right? name the next thing we have there is data collection that in sorry date of um, data collection so what is the question type for this this is dates right um, Sorry, I lost the page where I'm having my stop. Okay. Date for date for data collection. The next thing there is um, states. States. So we have this as states. The next item on our form is uh, local governments. Okay. There's also the text, right? Sorry, I want to have my form on this page. I don't know. Maybe I, I clicked on something, so the form appeared on another page. So I want to have it on that page. Let me just copy the address and have it here. Okay. So, 
school location school location is what is also text here we are talking about in uh, school as in the name of the location not the coordinates so phone number um So remember the phone number should be under the question type um, number then you select phone number so I want to have a validation for it you know here in Nigeria our number is 11 digits phone number is 11 digit so I want to validate the phone number in a way that the um, phone user cannot uh, have it maybe in 10 digits or 12 digits you cannot make a mistake of uh, reducing it or adding um, a digit to it so I want to validate in a case whereby he mistakenly add or uh, make deduction the, um, the the app will not allow him to like continue so he, ha he, he will have to make that correction before he can forge ahead with the question so this is how I will validate I will tell the system to make sure the string length string length should be what so string length of this question must be 11 digits so in this case the mobile user cannot have it in either 10 or 12 digits so I'll have a pop-up um, question for him if he make a mistake in the case where he made a mistake so it should be, I would say okay must be 11, 11 digits right the next question is the school coordinates um, this will be under the advanced so I'll just we are talking about the GPS coordinates so you take the coordinate while on the field so what do we have next next it says number of shifts in the school number of shift is what question type it's number right so I'll select number next thing we have there is what working hours from 8 p.m. to what time so I'll have it as what time right and mind you you should be looking at your question ID Make sure you look at your question ID whether it is well defined the way you want it. If otherwise, you correct it. So, school principal's name, um, question type is what is text. Okay. Uh, what do we have the next head teachers uh, head teachers phone number the question type is what it's, uh, phone number right I want to have a validation for this again I'll say okay string just like I did earlier string length must be of this question must be how many digits 11 digits right string so here we have the number of teachers in the school So it will be number. And 
then the next what we have next number of administrative staff also under number then number of assistants it's also number right good so i think i'm done with the first part the second part is school administrative team so what i will do next is i want to show you how this will appear in the phone okay um okay let's look at it from the app view okay we said this is our school assessment form right form one good this is the first page we created this is how it looks like and this is the second page right the school name um, date of collection data collection state local government school location phone number um, to the last item we have there right okay now let's continue so I want to collapse this so I'll have my next question so this was what I was trying to show you yesterday if you look at the next question we have what we call the title from this side right um, the title includes the school um, principal head teacher assistant deputy secretary Liberian um, science lab in charge computer to the last which is other others so and we have this information for each of them name gender academic qualification major age years of experience training and courses attended so that is to say for each of these titles they must have this um, breakdown we have to get the name of each of these titles, the gender, academic, qualification to the last, which is training and courses attended. So uh, instead of us to use the usual way of having to create maybe a group for each, to create maybe for we group each, uh, or uh, having uh, maybe like, um, Okay, no, I saying his network is so bad. Uh, notwithstanding, I'm making a video. Let me reply to Noah quickly. His network is too bad. Okay. Okay, no, I don't worry. I'm making a video in the next 30 minutes or an hour. I will share the video. So you watch the video and get ready with your questions, right? Thank you. So not to worry, just wait for the video. I also have an issue with the network. So let's just do it in this way. Thank you. Um, good so as I was saying instead of doing it the normal way I want to introduce you to what we call the repeat uh, repeat group this is what we call the repeat group right um, and majorly in Comcare we have three repeat groups three types of repeat groups we have the uh, user defined repeat group we have also the fixed uh, repeat group and the model iteration right
So as I said, we have the fixed repeat group, we have the user defined and also the model iteration. So let's take it one after the other. For this question, I want to have the user defined repeat group for this very question. So I'll call my group, I want to name the group to be this heading, school administrative team information. What we are trying to do here, we are, we are trying to create an iteration for, for this. So this is the name of my uh, repeat group. So I'll start having my questions under the repeat group. Uh, the first question is what? We have the title. We're going to have it as a uh, title. So, and the next thing is the name. The name also is what is text. Sorry. Copy it is not pasting. Let me go back and copy again. So the next thing we have there is the gender. So gender is what is going to be what? A multi-choice, right? And in multi-choice gender we have we have two choices, either male. Or female. Right? Um, what do we have next? Academic qualification. Academic qualification. Copy that. we have next major text page It is what is a number integer. Um, years of experience. Okay, sorry, is a integer. Then what training and courses attended? Text. Right? So I'll save this. So I want to show you the beauty of um, repeat uh, group. Repeat question type. So in this case you see all we did was to create um, the headings from the name to the training and courses attended. So the title should also come up when you are you are going to make the entry. The phone user is going to make the entries for its title. So we are going to have an iteration for each of these um, title. We are going to have an iteration for school assistant to the last so let's look at how it works so and uh, the one thing with this is that when you come to the app preview the app preview doesn't really give you the preview for um, repeat question group so you have to have it on your phone to be able to see it very well right okay let me just have something here so you see when I go to the next page it is just telling me that is the end so but when you are when you have it on your phone you are going to see it clearly how it works so let me just mirror this quickly and show you how it it, it is going to appear on the phone 
Um, okay, this is my mirroring app. Sorry, let me just have the connection quickly. Let me just connect quickly and show you how it works. Good. My phone is now connected. So look at. So can you see? This is my phone now. It is a bit slow. So I, I guess you manage it. So I'll go to come here. So I'll, I'll have to publish this app. Let me go back to to the system and publish this. Um, make a new version. I've taught you this from the first, um, I think second or third video, right? Okay, I'll publish. Uh, I want to scan with the barcode. This is the barcode, right? So if you look at my phone, this is my mirroring app. So let me have it side by side. Uh, it's not really moving. Okay, let me just reduce this and have this. Okay, good. So now I want to scan this barcode and have the app on my phone right okay i'm here now scan the barcode i hope you can see wow uh, sorry i have to okay so i hope you've seen how i did the scanning so now I have scanned the barcode. It has scanned successfully. Sorry, it um, it is in auto. It, it has rotated somehow, but you. It is the usual way. You just scan the barcode and click on this. It is now downloading this app we just created now. Good. So I now have my app on my phone. So let's go back to. Um, come here and look for the username and password of this application. I have a user already, um, mobile worker. We have created a user for this app, right? And the user is called class4. I showed you how to create a user. Creating a user, a mobile user, you can just come here create a user right let me just click it for you to see you give it a username and a password as usual if you don't want this mail this is my mail you cancel it have a first name for it so already we have our user which is class 4 that is the username and the password is still class 4 so let's go back to our phone and uh, have our username and password okay it, we said our username is class 4 in, four, in small letters and the password is also class 4. Sorry, class 4 in small letters too. So good, we are now logged in. So I want to start. You can see this is our form, school assessment form. Uh -huh. Form 1, you can see the first page we created, school assessment form and expected time just the way I designed it. Okay, good. This is the first page, right, where we have the school name. I want to call my school as government, government, uh, sorry, secondary, 
tool. Mm -hmm. The next thing is what? Date of data collection. Let's say we collected the date January 17th, 19, 2022. States, I mean Niger states. Um, local government. Um, let's say Bidda. School location community. Let's say Masaba. Phone number 0703533 Okay. Um, school coordinates. Mind you, I have validated this uh, phone number. I have validated it so if I enter um, anything below that um, the level that it did it, it will not accept it. So let me just rec record this location because I am uh, in the in the I'm inside the room making this video so i'm not outside okay it is it is okay it has gotten a good reception so my the accuracy is 4.884 meters that is very good so school number the number of shifts in the school let's say we have two shifts afternoon shift and morning shift hours um let's see okay now i want to show you something you can see my hours is now in 24 hours but I don't want to have it in 24 hours. In that case, you can go to your phone setting and change it to, in order to be having your hours in 12 hours, right? Um, I'll go into the, you go to your settings and look for um, time, okay? Uh, okay, time. So this is what you do. Uh, you just make it automatic time zone and it will change to uh, sorry just adjust some settings okay use local default I hope I'm not mistaken. Uh, okay, I think I have to go back and uh, log in again. Hmm? So let's just continue like this. If I should go back and log in again, it will change the time to um, what do you call it? 12 hours. So let's continue. Okay, Prince school principal. I, I hope we are, okay. Let's just continue filling in school principal's name. Let's say his name is Musa. His phone, teacher's phone number 08032355 Okay, teachers, number of teachers. Let's say we have, um, uh, we have five teachers right number of administrative staff we have nine um assistants we have 12 for instance all right okay we have an error here cannot handle function string length okay so if you look at the error there is from the spelling so we had issue with our spelling right so we have to go back to our form let me just reduce this so we go back to our form and fix the error right we had issue with the spelling so it says it cannot handle that uh, instead of string length the length is not properly spelled Okay, let me look at where the issue is. It has to do with phone number. Okay, let's look at teacher's phone number here. 
string length okay can you see that this length is not properly spelled the the t has to become before the h right string length are we okay good where do we have phone number again here let's look at the spelling uh yeah 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 all my spellings are not okay for length so it's supposed to be th so you can see if you make uh, any mistake from the from your spelling especially in the strings it will not uh, it will not allow you to go further so you have to come back and fix it do we have phone number here let me go to this part Let me go to this part. Uh, do we have phone number here? Title name. I think we are good to go. We don't have phone number here. So good. I'll save it and also publish it again. Right? So I'll make a new version. So now in this case, I'll just make it in test for me to be able to for me to be able to update from the app. So just look at what I will do here now. Let me go to my mirror app. I want you to be seeing what I'm doing. Okay. So I want to go back to the beginning. Uh, right I won't I will not have to scan another barcode again all I'll do is to update from the app okay you click these three dots click update app it will automatically search for the update for you the latest update and good you just click on download are we okay with this so now all I will do is to login again last four is my password good so we are in so from one uh -huh. sorry i will not have to go back and uh, fill all this let me just fill the school name because i cannot go ahead let me see my school name is government secondary school sorry i attended government secondary school that was that is why i'm using this name government secondary secondary school right let me make this s capital s so from from there i want to go to the next question i don't so okay did you see what I'm telling you for the working hours now? So you can see it has changed from 24 hours to 12 hours. And I have my AM and PM because of the changes I made earlier. I told you if I log in, log out and log in to effect the correction. So I will not go, th go through um, filling all this. We did it earlier. So let me just go ahead to the next, uh, what I want you to see. That is the next page. So let's go to the next page. Good. So can you see our question for this? The question group we created, the repeat group we created, sorry. I want you to look at it. So it is saying add new school administrative team. So I will add, I'll click on add, right? So the first thing here, there is title. So I want you to look at it side by side. Okay. Let me just shift this a bit. Okay. So if you look at the title, the first thing there I will put the, the title is, um, sorry, school, school principal. principal stroke head teacher whatever so the next thing 
I'll put the name, let's say the name of the school teacher is Musa. I have a friend called Musa, that is why, that is why I'm using Musa. Gender is a male. Qualification, let's see, BSc statistics. Statistics. BSc statistics. Um, major, let's see. It is statistics. Sorry, I had to repeat this. The qualification should be BSc, right? Statistics. Uh huh. Age, let's say he is 40 years old. Experience, he has 10 years experience. And training courses attended, it can be anything teachers whatever so i'll add i'll add another question i can add another group so i'll use the next title which is assistant all right i'm coming i have some visitors So sorry. The next title, the next title should be what? Should be assistant or deputy. Assistant or deputy, whatever. So you put the name, the gender academic qualification, major subject, age, years of experience to the last. And if you still have another to add, it will ask you to add again. So we add, this is for the secretary. Hmm? This is for the secretary. Then name of the secretary is gender, qualification, major age is of experience right if you have another you add which is the school counselor right the title then his name is agenda major is age years of experience and course attended then you go ahead to add again for librarian to the last so let me just end here. All I want is for you to see how this works. So I will just end. I don't. I will say finish. I don't have anything to add. Did you see that? Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to have this group in one page instead. I don't want it scattered. Um, I don't want a question per page. So I'll just have all this in under one group. You get it. So all I will do is that I will come here yes, and add, um, sorry, I will add a group list, a question list here. So I will have all these questions under this list. Hmm? So I'll have all the question, questions under this list. Right. I'm adding them to the question three. So good. Okay, I'll call this. Let me call it. Let me call the group administrative. Or I'll call it team information not important i must not name it but i just want to give it a name it's not really necessary so i want to call it i want to give it this name team information right i'll save okay
So let's go back and publish this again. And look at how it is going to appear in our app. So I have the app already. I'll just make it in test. Right? So I'll go back to my app. So hope you can view it very well. I update from here. So this is how you go about updating your app. Maybe if your mobile users are on default working and uh, you want to like add a question to the form or delete a question or maybe there is a correction. So this is how we go about it. About it. You just make the correction where you are and just release it, publish it and they will go ahead and do the update. So I'll click on update. So it is now updated. All I'll do is to log in again, class 4, good, so form, form 1, um, my first group, uh, school, government secondary school, right, as usual. Secondary school. Please let me just permit me to go to the next page. We are we have viewed this first page earlier. So I'll click on add group. So you can see now all my questions are on one page. So if I want to if I want to add the various titles I will say okay. I want you to see the title. The title is here. Okay. I will say okay. This first title is for the school. School principal. School principal. Principal. Sorry, I'm not too good at typing. Hmm? School principal stroke head teacher. So all this information now is for what the school principal. So I will now go to the next page. Add again. This is for what? This is for the assistants. assistant or deputy I hope you understand so you add the information for the assistant and deputy the next one is what you add another one which is what secretary right information for secretary you provide it then add another which is what school counselor right counselor sorry don't mind my spelling you add another one to the last which is others right i think it is others we have as the last thing there so from others i'll just go ahead and what and submit i'll say okay i'm done okay good right so it is submitted so that is this is what we call um the uh user defined repeat group for the in this case it is you the user that will define whether you are done or you are not done, you keep adding until you are done to the last, um, what do you call it, uh, your last entry. So let's um, add a question. The next question, I'm a bit tired. It's evening. I'm very tired. 
So let's look at this. After this, we'll pause for the day and maybe within the week I'll make another video. I'll try to complete the form before the end of the week. I'll be using my free time in the office or maybe when I come back to be attending to at least one or two. So okay, now the next um, question here is the teacher's information. So let's have another group for it again. Okay. Uh, go back to my comp here. Let's add that. So if you look at the question for the teacher information, it is similar to the one we just treated now. Why? Because it is also an iteration. It depends on the number of teachers, right? Number of teachers in the school. You provide their name, his title, gender to the last, just like what we did earlier. So it is a similar stuff to what we did earlier. So this is what I will do in this case. Uh, this number, I, I want to treat another um, repeat group, which is the fixed repeat group. Why I want to use fixed repeat group is that this teacher's information here is determined by the number of teachers in the school. And if you remember from the beginning, there is a question that says, that asked how many teachers, right? Number of teachers, this question. We have a question on number of teachers, right? In the school. So that's this aspect of the form now is determined by this question of, on number of teachers. It is determined by this entry here, one, two, three to the last is determined by the number of teachers in the school, right? So we are going to use, this is where we, um, we are going to use the uh, fixed um, repeat group because in this case, it is repeated, it is repeated to a certain number. The number of teachers in the school will determine how many times this question is going to be iterated, right? So in that case, we are going to tie this question to um, the number of teachers. If you reply that you have five number of uh, number um, teachers in the school, so this iteration is going to be how many times? Five times. If it's six, it's going to be six times. If it's seven, if it's ten, so it's going to be ten times. So let me show you how to do that. That is what we call the fixed, um, uh, what do you call it, repeat group. Uh, I told you earlier we have th three basic uh, repeat group. We have the, what do you call it, user defined, what we just finished treating now. So we have the fixed and also the model iteration. So we are going to look at the fixed now. Okay, let me collapse what I have here. I want to collapse all this, the question tree. So I will say, okay, my next question too is going to be on a uh, repeat group again, right? Oh, sorry, I'm tired, I need to rest. So let me just do this quickly. So repeat group. So I'll call this my repeat group as what? As teacher's information. So, and uh, Let's look at the, the information we need here is quite similar with what we have here, right? Um, so let me just copy and paste. You can copy and come here, you can just copy, right? So I want to copy this. Uh, I want to copy all we have here. And uh, I'll create uh, I'll create a group here. And I'll paste it in the group. Okay, it is not accepting because it is not the same question type. Wow. Okay, so if you look at 
the repeat group here, there is what we call the look at what we have here, repeat count. So this repeat count here is determined by the number of uh, question, uh, the number of uh, teachers it has been is provided at the beginning. So you are you are supposed to provide how many times the iteration is going to come up, right? So this repeat count determines how many times if it, for the first, the question they asked on how many teachers. So if we say we have 10 teachers, it is that question we are going to now put here uh, to, to iterate to the number of res, um, response provided for that question. I hope you are getting me. So I'll go back. I think I have the question here in the first page. Uh, this is a question on number of teachers, right? I'll drag this and... Uh, drop it uh, here, repeat count. So what I'm telling the system to do now is that to repeat this question to the number of teachers given here. Are you getting my point now? Right? I'm telling it to repeat this question to the number of teachers uh, provided here. So now this group, I want to call it... Um, I want to call it teachers. I want to call it teachers, right? I'll call the group teachers. So, and uh, I'll start having my questions now. The first thing there is what? The name, title, whatever. So let me just, uh, okay, text. I will see. This is the name. Wow. I have a shortcut, but I have a shortcut to go on this, but let me just show you this first. Otherwise, if I'm just building my form, I will use my shortcut. But for your consumption, let's, let me take you uh, one after the other. Right? Um, gender. Um, sorry, just manage my presentation. I'm tired. I need to rest. I've been up and down during the day. I've been going up and down during the day, so I'm a kind of tired. So just manage what you have. I'll be waiting for you in the question comment box or the quest up group. You try it yourself and uh, come up with your question, right? The next thing is what? Academic qualification. Major. I have age. Um, years of experience. Number, right? Then training. Thanks. Okay. So 
so we are here uh, let me collapse this so we are here now this is my repeat um, group All right so I have to make why do I have this um, this is not supposed to be there major it is a mistake so I'll delete it it's not supposed to be there so I'll save this okay let's let's go back and uh, look at this in the mobile app so I will release this version again yeah so here we are let me show you how it will look like in the phone sorry my phone is disconnected i'll have to reconnect it again we should do that fast Let me reconnect it first, please. Okay. We are here now. Okay. I'll go to my comic here and update to the latest version. Provide my user a password. done let's go ahead okay um from one okay school i will say okay it is government secondary school let me just put government right uh, my interest is here so i didn't make any of this question required that is why i can is uh, permitting me to flip to the next page so number of teachers, I will say, okay, five. We have five teachers. So I want to show you how this is going to iterate. The second group is telling me, do I need to add? You can add as usual, as we said, add, add. So my interest is not here. So let's go to the next. So you can see this one now, teacher one. Yeah? You provide the information for teacher one to the last. So it will go to teacher two. Are you getting my point? We said we have how many teachers? These are all information for teacher two. Then it will move to teacher three, right? Can you see that? Teacher four and five. Then the last teacher. We said we have five teachers. So you can see this repeat group is fixed to fixed to five iterations right it is fixed to five iterations because we said we have five teachers in the school okay now uh, there is a challenge while using this 
there is a challenge why you didn't this and the challenge is uh when you say okay maybe you want to correct it is not five teachers now but two teachers so let's go back to let's go back to our question that says five teachers so let's say okay no we have this is we have just um We have just two teachers. Can it change back to two? Or maybe we have ten teachers. Can it change back to ten? Uh, so I want to go back to change that number of teachers to maybe two. Okay, I want to see instead of five teachers now let's make it two teachers right so let's see whether it is going to change or not right So I've changed it to two now. Okay, let's see. Hmm? I'm not after this. Okay, let's see if it has changed to two. Right? We are we have done we are done with the first teacher. This is teacher two. So you can see it is going to teacher three. It has not changed. So this is a challenge when you are um, coming up with um, question group, the fixed question group. So and I will show you how to solve this. You see it is going to teacher three to the fifth teacher. This has not changed. Why? Why hasn't it changed? So this is the kind of challenge you are going to have when using question group. But this challenge have been solved, have, have been solved by D. Maggie. There is a syntax you use for this. Okay, let me show you how you go about that. We are going to go back to our form. Uh, we have a syntax you use to correct this error. Because ideally, it is supposed to change if you change your number of iterations, number of teachers, if it's three, it will change to three. If it's five, it will change to five. If it's ten, it will it should um, change to ten. So, but in this case, this is not. It is not changing. Why? So, I'll go back to my question. Now, teacher, come back. Go back to the group. In this display, you tell it, okay, position is what we call the position function. I want to use the position function to solve this issue now. Right? Should be less than this. Should be less than this number of teachers. Why is it a uh, number of teachers? So I want to put it here right position should be less than number of teacher it is here can you see it right good so in this case if you do the iteration change the iteration it will surely change right it will surely change to the number of iterations you want to use right okay and i want to do something again i want to have this um this whole iteration in just one page you know i like having my stuffs on one page not on uh different pages right so 
or let's go out just let's just go ahead with this uh, maybe in the next video I'll show you how to have it in one page or rather let me just okay I want to have my question um, I want to have this on one page as usual instead of um, having single um, question on one page so uh, I hope you are clear with the position function so we are going to see how we can have it on one page and run it and see how effective it is going to be when we make changes to our um, uh, iterations so now there I'm going to have question lists uh, my question list should be here all right so on all my questions should be under my repeat group hmm? wow i'm very very exhausted very tired so let's just have this and close for the day no, you really give us big work by giving us this bulky form. So, yes, I'm done. Uh, I don't want to label this. I, it's okay. Let's just. I don't want to. What I mean by labeling, I don't want to name the group. Is okay. I'm just trying to. quickly finish up this and end the class for today okay I'll make a new version this is version 33 and uh, in tests okay let me go ahead and mirror the app good so I think my I think my phone is disconnected let me connect it back okay My app is connected now. I'll go to Zenda. No, oh, sorry. Come here. Ha. Huh. Dad. Okay. Class four. Updates. So, download the latest. Okay. Login again. Good. Here we are. This is... Okay. Uh, let's see. Government. I will not feel all, please. Let me just go ahead to the number of teachers okay if we say five yes we don't need this okay you can see we have one two three four five right so if i go back and change it to let's see uh, two Uh -huh. I don't need this. So you see, this will change to 2. Good. If I change it to 1, this is now 
1. If I make it 0, so definitely from here it will submit. Right? So um, let's call this a day. We put a stop here. I'm a little tired, so I want you to go over it, install it on your phone, then try making entries. Practice it yourself. Go to your Comcare HQ and practice what you have done so far. So maybe within the week, I'll try to make other videos to cover up for this form. And probably next week, we'll be having um, somebody to give us another form to create an app with it. So thank you very much. I'll be expecting your comments and also questions on this. So good night. Bye-bye. Thank you.